got a $100 million investment into their game. That's a pretty, that's a, that's a little, that's a little more than some pocket change, okay? $100 million in their most recent campaign is going to skyrocket, hopefully, hope, hopefully. Maybe they'll be able to be a lot more professional. Maybe this could be the next Fortnite. Wow, you ever think about that? To me, it's a lot more fun than Fortnite. Don't, don't you? I don't want to see any of those Fortnite comments down there. We, we all know, we all know this is better than a battle royale. So that's all I'm gonna say. Yo, what's up, guys? It's Vid, and today we're gonna be talking about Splitgate's newest crazy thing, which is the fact that they just got a 100 million dollars in their pocket to go ahead and do further development, further investing, and all of the good good that is going to be very good to the game's future. The studio is actually now valued at roughly $1.5 billion, which is crazy, considering this is a free-to-play game that is just Halo and Portal put together. Now, I always need to bring this up, but I've been playing Splitgate since 2019. Literally, I have a legacy title and everything. I've been playing since 2019. Not religiously, not all the time, but I have been making my rounds on that game. And it is a lot of fun. It, it, is, it is very fun. There's a lot that they can develop and add to the game. With this money, hopefully, they're gonna be able to build a much more competitive version of the game, because right now, yeah, there is the competitive mode. It seems extremely, a little, a little flawed in, a, in some ways, similar to early days of CSGO. Uh, if you guys ever played Counter-Strike Global Offensive, you You'd probably know that, but uh, it's it definitely is on the right track. And as long as the developers continue on that track, this game is going to be probably incredible. I, I give it a year and this game takes over again. Like it's already taking over. A lot of streamers are playing it. I really do think that Splitgate has potential in the near future of being one of the top five games that people actually play. That and when you add in the fact that over 10 million people downloaded the game over the 30 days, that's Again, those are numbers not to like laugh at. Like that's pretty crazy. It is a free to play game, but it's pretty crazy considering that this is a, it's a pretty small game. Like, yeah, there's a lot of things that they offer in it. There's a lot of that you can do, but you know, it's no Call of Duty. Uh, it's no Battlefield. It's, it's no Halo. Uh, actually though, I should say it's becoming more and more like Halo, obviously the gameplay is much similar to Halo. It's like mirrors the game, but. So what this $100 million is hopefully going to do for Splitgate is really set them up for being in the spot with the AAA titles. They need to be able to fight against Call of Duty. They need to be able to fight against Halo. They need to be able to actually put themselves in the middle and not say that they are a Halo or Call of Duty knockoff. They need to be, we are Splitgate, this is us. That is what hopefully that $100 million is going to do for the game, for the company, the studio. Me and my friends play, my, my viewers, you, People like to see it, people like to watch it. It's a lot of fun. The game does have pretty good replay value. I will say, after four or five days of playing back to back, you can't really play for more than an hour or two at a time and you start to get a little bit boring. And it, I think that has to do with the fact that there there isn't, the game feels a little simple right now, like not developed, hence the reason why they're going to now take this money and develop it more. It definitely is awesome. Uh, the fact that it released cross-platform on a lot of different consoles and stuff is really great. I think that that's gonna be really good for the future of Splitgate. I think that the studio behind it is doing incredible so far, and $100 million should seriously, seriously help them out and pad the, pad the wallet a little bit. Now, the one thing that I love so much about Splitgate is the fact that the game has its own space in a way. Yes, it takes stuff from other genres, other games, Halo, Call of Duty, but, but, big but, huge. It is unique, it's original, and that's very hard to come by in 2021. I mean, very hard. I mean, I, I, I find myself with my friends. I just had a conversation with my friend earlier that we get so bored of some of the games that are out right now. There's so many games that are just blech. Like, you play them for a little bit and you're like, all right, I'm done. 
I'm done with this. And that's the reality of what the gaming space looks like right now. You end up going back to the games you used to play all the time. So you take a break from Minecraft for six months, you go back and you play it for another six months and you take a break from it and you go back and do it again because it's like the only thing that's good. It's the only thing that's like really enjoyable that you can really dive into and enjoy it for a long period of time. So that is my take on the $100 million investment that they just got into their pocket split gate. Um, if you enjoyed, please smack the like button, hit the sub button. As always, it doesn't cost anything to be kind. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.